G'day guys, another week, another update. We only just got the massive moon key content drop, and now we have an early look at the upcoming Wickerbottom refresh. There are 11 new books, a bunch of other tweaks, including changes to Wartox and Walter, all of which we'll be having a look at in this video. And it all starts with the new bookcase. Not only is this a practical way of storing all your literature with a massive 20 slots, but it also doubles as a science station and is required for the creation of seven of the new books. The first of these books is the Angler's Survival Guide, which spawns fools of fish, which is pretty good if you want to catch some fish and there just aren't any around. Depending on what type of water you're in, this may also help you spawn things like narwhales, rock jaws, and malbatross. Pyrokinetics Explained allows you to extinguish all fires within a small radius. This then gets converted into the new Fiery Pen, which acts like a rechargeable fire staff. It has a limit of 10 uses, but you can read the book again to refill it or create more Fiery Pens. Overcoming Arachnophobia places a spider web on the floor, which slows down enemies for 30 seconds, including spiders, which is a bit strange. They might patch that out, I don't know. Tempering Temperatures restores your temperature to 35 degrees, and I see this basically as a last resort kind of thing if you're desperate. If it's summer and you're overheating already, reading this book will just give you a little bit more time to get to shelter, but you're probably going to overheat again before it's too long. Lux Eterna and Lux Eterna Redux are two of my favorite new books. They each create a source of light about the size of a dwarf star, with the standard book lasting for half a day and the Redux for two days. The Redux also has five uses compared to the standard three and I don't think I need to explain why light is useful. Practical Rain Rituals is another really cool book, and reading it can start and stop precipitation on the surface and in the caves. This could have great use when combined with things like Vault Goat Jelly or Morning Stars, or even if you're growing some plants and can't be bothered watering them. Also doubles as a fun way to harass your WX friends. The Lunar Grimoire is another book with massive griefing potential as it lets you summon a full moon on the next evening, and this involves changing the lunar cycle around that as well. While it's obviously not a great time for woodies, you could use this for farming Glomma or the Moonstone, or potentially bringing forward the new moon if it's just passed. Very cool book. Horticulture Expanded is a more expensive horticulture abridged, but grows 15 crops instead of 10. Whether that's worth it or not will depend on how many reads you have, I guess. Apicultural Notes lets you summon three grumble bees to fight by your side, and as far as I'm aware, unless you go too far away or decide to fight Bee Queen, those bees will stick with you until they die. And they're not that bad. The book has three reads, so you can summon nine grumble bees in no time if you're in trouble or just want a bit of extra firepower. And last but definitely not least is the Everything Encyclopedia, which lowers the science requirement of every craftable item from the classic four science stations, meaning you can craft a dark sword or any other shadow manipulator item from a science machine. This effect wears off after you craft something, but the item you've crafted will remain prototyped forever. I'll definitely be using this to rush items like the Dark Sword, or even to skip making the Presta Hattitator entirely and go straight to building the Shadow Manipulator. I really love the idea of this book. And to top it all off, placing any of these books in the bookcase slowly restores their durability over time. This is especially fantastic for those books that you'd only need to use once or twice every now and then. You can just put them back when you're done, and they'll be ready to use again when you need them. Unfortunately, Wicca had to give up a little bit to get these new abilities. She's lost 25 health and is down to a lowly 125 HP. She'll also receive no health benefit from stale food whatsoever, and the hunger gained from stale food has been halved as well. So it's really only fresh food for Wicca from here on out. But considering how quickly she can grow crops, this shouldn't really be an issue. Wartox also got a sneaky update as part of this refresh, with the main change being the added ability to travel across the map at the cost of souls. I really like this ability. It's not OP enough to replace Wanda's watches, but it's good to get you in and out of those annoying spots like the atrium, or saving you having to sail to and from the Lunar Islands or Pearl's house, for example. It's just great for the lazy people like me. Wartox can now soul hop twice for the price of one soul if you do it within the 5 second cooldown, which is also nice. 
Healing with Souls has seen a slight reduction in effectiveness for groups of players though, and each additional player will result in less healing given, but players with full HP will no longer receive healing, so this probably doesn't make too much of a difference at the end of the day. And on top of this, eating souls gives Wartox 25 hunger now, and dropping a soul also gives a small amount of sanity. However, you still lose a bunch of sanity if you try to carry more than 20 souls at a time. Wobi also gets a bit of a buff in this refresh and will no longer throw off Walter if they take less than 8 damage every 5 seconds, which I'm sure all 3 Walter mains will appreciate. And I'm sorry to say that the loot stash cheese for Fighting Claws no longer works as of this refresh. You've been a good cheese. Thank you for your service. And thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care.